The cornhole game, also known as a beanbag toss, is a lawn game where you throw beanbags at a hole. Sounds like fun. Let's build one. <laughs> the top of the board is going to be a piece of quarter inch ply. I've already let the kids have their fun by letting them paint the top whatever color they wanted. Yeah, they chose white. I don't know. Now if you'd like some extended bonus footage in the making of this project build, head to my second channel Simply Easy Homesteading for a look-see. I'll have a link at the end of this video or you can simply check the description. I'll have one in there as well. After setting up the shop, I'll measure and mark for the frame pieces of the cornhole board. I need two longer pieces and two shorter cross pieces. For a list of materials and cuts, head off to my website, simplyeasydiy.com. Check the description, I'll have the links, plus some cool little known facts about the game of cornholing. Cornholing, I'm not sure that's even a word. Any who's it's, check the description. I'll make sure both of these cross pieces are the same size. Pre-drilling holes when working at the ends of boards is always a good thing. Just use one of the shorter cross pieces to mark a line. Now that that's done, I'll lay out all my frame pieces. Three inch screws at the end of all four corners. That quarter inch piece of ply can sit right on top, flush with the sides. Wow, I really need to trim those rosemary bushes, don't I? Hmm. Okay, that's the main box construction. Time for the legs. First, I'm gonna cut a 19 degree angle on one end of the legs. Everyone remembers what I taught you about cutting angles in the board, right? No matter. You can click right there in the corner of the screen to go take a look at a simple and easy way to cut boards to length with angled ends. After I've cut the angle, I'll cut the final length. Now, I'm using pieces of two by fours for the legs, so I'm gonna rip off about an inch or so on the table saw. If you wanna skip this step, simply use two by threes and you're good to go. Marking the placement of the legs will be on the website as well. I'll also cover some of this in the extended bonus footage video over on Simply Easy Homesteading. All right, so I've got my mark. That's where I'll start. And yes, my spade bit and I have been through a lot together. No, I will not get rid of it if you'd like to donate a new one. After I've gone about a quarter inch or so, I'll switch over to a regular bit and finish things off. That is so the bolt will sit recessed into the side instead of sitting outside the frame. That is just a minor detail, and no, it's not necessary. In fact, this whole fold-down leg thing isn't even necessary. I'm just doing it to make storage a little more efficient. However, you could do fixed leg construction and be just fine. I've marked a line down from the inside of the frame and lined the top of the legs with that. Clamp them in place to start the corresponding holes. Then I'll take them over to the table to finish them off. Now that all my holes are drilled, I'll take both legs and attach a cross piece. Blue and Brad's. Once those are attached, it's time to mount them to the cornhole board. The legs are supposed to sit at 109 degrees from the frame of the board, hence the 19 degree cut at the bottom of the leg. So in order to get them to do that, I need to add a stop piece. First, however, I need to make sure the legs are sitting at 109 degrees. So to do that, I simply marked the angle onto one of the legs before I attached them to the cornhole board. Then I lined that mark up with the bottom of the frame and clamped everything in place. With the legs secured, I can add some glue to my stop piece and tack it in place. Not too bad. One last thing, a cornhole game wouldn't be a corn game 
without a hole. In case you're wondering, there is a specific position and size for this hole. I'll have all that information and a whole lot more at simplyeasydiy.com. A little sandy never hurt no one. And then it's game on. Yay! Want more cornhole? Check out the extended bonus footage here. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more simple and easy projects. Find me on Facebook and Pinterest. If you like this video, here's a couple more you'll like as well.